Hey everybody, welcome back to Gorn Gay Reacts, and today we are going to be reacting to I animated a Reddit post featuring the internet historian. So, another surreal entertainment video. I actually have not watched a surreal entertainment video ever since the first one, and that was like almost over a month ago. Which doesn't make sense <laughs> to say. But um, I'll leave the original video link in the description so you guys can go check it out. I don't think anything else has to be really said, just like yesterday's video. Um, we'll just click play on this bad boy in 3, 2, 1, bam -a -roni. Last night, my wife's boss from her brand new job invited us over for dinner. Uh, on the drive over, my wife reiterated many times to me just how important it was to make a good first impression. I scoffed yeah. and arrogantly informed my silly wife that I always make good impressions. My yeah. wife's boss is a single lady in her 50s, so it was just the three of us. We chit-chatted over drinks and salads and really seemed to be hitting it off. She laughed at my well-timed, perfectly appropriate jokes, and my wife seemed pleased. Soon, she brought out the main course. A nice, juicy, big steak for each of us. Delicious. But as I that began looks to raw. cut into the steak, <laughs> I was discouraged to discover how undercooked the meat was. Yeah. Now, I've had my fair share of rare steak. I prefer medium, but I can handle rare. But this was several minutes on a hot grill, short of rare. I probably could have resuscitated the cow had I tried. Instead, I sat there, fidgeting with my knife and fork, worrying about how I was going to get away with not eating this steak. Claim veganism? No. I already feigned great enthusiasm upon seeing the steak. Just then, our hostess excused herself to the kitchen to take care of some of the dessert preparations. As I looked across the fancy dining room table at the open window of this third-story apartment, a cartoon light bulb appeared over my head. This this I voice is actually decisive. perfect. Realizing that she could return at any moment, <laughs> I committed. I grabbed the steak with my hand, gently shook off the juice, and executed a perfect throw right through the center of the open window. But here's the big time fuck up. The window wasn't open. <laughs> it was the cleanest fucking window you've ever seen in your life. That is, until my mostly raw slab of steak slammed up against it you and slowly slid down, one. leaving a trail of bloody juice in its wake. My wife, whose steak was a nice medium rare and unaware of my predicament, <laughs> turned, jaw dropped, and stared at me like I was an alien from another planet. <laughs> this look then slowly morphed into one of anger. My wife's boss heard the thud of a steak on window impact and came quickly. She took in the scene. The steak sitting on the windowsill, the blood trail, my empty plate, and gave an inquisitive, puzzled look. I just didn't know what to say. It felt like a minute of silence, but it was probably three or four seconds. Finally, the best I could manage was... Uh, I'm so sorry, I'm such a klutz. I don't know, I was just cutting it and it, it slipped. Just ask my <laughs> wife, I really am a klutz. Right, honey? No help coming from that direction. I'll clean this up, I can't believe this, I'm so sorry, etc, etc. Both women continued to stare at me like I escaped from the loony bin as I smeared blood around the window with my cloth napkin, dusted off the steak, and continued to mutter my incoherent explanation. I knew no one was buying my story. I knew what I had to do. I sheepishly returned to my seat and proceeded to eat every bite of that disgusting, cold, chewy, bloody, raw steak. I remained pretty quiet the rest of the evening. My wife's only two words to me since the incident are, I'm fine. TLDR tried to sneakily throw my undercooked steak through an open window, only to find it wasn't open. Edit. Thanks, kind Redditors. Thanks for the gold, kind stranger. Update. Just got the first post I'm fine communication from my wife via text who is at work. Good news. Boss's name and I just had a good laugh over how much of a fucking idiot you are. I hope you know uh, you will never live this down. Love you, you moron. Dang. Thanks to this legend for the narration, the original post can be found in the description. So you can go give them those upvotes and those uh, platinum awards if you really want to. Anyway, that's it for I animated a Reddit post featuring the internet historian. I'll leave a link in the description. It's actually kind of interesting, I'm going to be honest. But um, that's it. Thank you all for watching and goodbye.